Hello and welcome back to Sipping Details. After two months, y'all, I can't even. I'm not even gonna sit up here and put on like, oh, I'm so cheery, so happy, so this is that. Y'all, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I am exhausted. To all of my 62 subscribers that are still there, mwah, thank you very much for holding on because <laughs> somebody unsubscribed but hey life be life and y'all i'm so serious life is seriously life in okay between having a business a small business and trying to keep it afloat you don't know if you want to close the business keep it going or not or go back to work but it's like you didn't you didn't come this far just to come this far and that's my line. Okay. That's my line. Okay. Um, but I didn't come this far just to come this far. So it's like I don't know whether to, you know, continue with the business, slow down with it, uh, or just, you know, pivot again. Cause I have pivot made so many pivots in my business just to try to keep it afloat um since the start of my business until now. So it's just something in me just telling me just to keep going, you know, just keep going. Every time I tell somebody about it, I'll just keep going, just keep going. So uh, now you see that the backdrop is gone. Everything is going to be more stripped down, more, you know, um, streamlined, uh, just to keep everything easier instead of, you know, just putting up with too much or dealing with too much. When it comes down to everything, because I'm basically juggling everything by myself, um, every, everything is just going to be very simplistic and very slim, you know, just streamlined. Because um, pretty much we all know that the world has changed since 2020 and the world is constantly changing day after day, month after month, year after year. OK, like the world is changing. I know I can tell I can see it. Everybody, I know, other people say, I know I'm not, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one that can see that there is a constant move, shift, and change in the world that we live in. And in order to, I guess, maintain, you're going to have to be able to shift along with it. If not, then, you know, you don't want to be stuck. I know I don't want to, I don't want to be stuck. So just the constant shifting of everything as far as just like life as we all know it, life as I know it, on top of everything that you try to ma uh, manage and handle from day to day. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Okay. Um, my energy will pick back up eventually. Like that whole two months that I had to, had to just take a step back from doing YouTube. Like, y'all, I am tapped in. Okay, I'm not tapped out, I'm tapped in. And when things get to shifting and moving and stuff, it just drain it drains me. I, I get tired. I get tired and exhausted. I try to keep up and stuff, but the more I try to push and keep up, the more drained I get. So then I have to just kind of take a step back and just like, okay, I'm gonna have to just let this work and move and do whatever this is doing. And then when I know I'm ready to to come back, then I'll just come back. But as far as trying to constantly juggle everything, it's like, okay, uh -uh. <laughs> you know, when you get to that point in your life, like I'm 40 plus. So when you get to that point in your life where you just know, okay, some things is just going to have to fall through the crack for my own sanity, then, hey, I would rather let those things fall through the cracks than have my sanity crack. <laughs> if that makes sense to you. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm not about to let something that could just fall through the crack, something that's just so, I guess, like minute and little, baby, that can go ahead and fall through the crack. I'm I'm not about to crack. I'm not about to let my mind crack. I'm not about to let my body, my soul crack. Uh-uh. Baby, that little thing, go ahead and fall on through that crack. That's why it's so little, because it's meant to fall through the crack. Okay. I ain't trying to preach to you. 
but somebody didn't count that word. Okay. That's why some of these things in life are that little. They're meant to fall through the cracks because what cracks not big, cracks are small. So go ahead and let the, if it's small enough to fall through and let it fall on through then. I'd rather have whatever that little thing is to fall through the crack than my mind crack. Mm-mm. Cause she's not gonna do it. You know it is what it is. It's just, I, and that's something else about me. I'm very much a realist. I'm coming on here. I have these braids in my hair. I have little to no makeup on. I'm not on YouTube, nor do I do videos to sit up and blow smoke on somebody's butt. That's just not me. I wouldn't even go through the trouble to do all of that to blow smoke up somebody behind. I don't. I don't see the point in it. I just don't. But I know I'm being called and being pushed to focus on wellness, to focus on my business, to help people, you know, take better care of themselves, to be more aware of things when it comes to the mind, body, and the soul. That's why I will not let this business go. That's why my business is called House of Purity. It's basically built on the principle that your body is a temple. And it's like you have to, you know, maintain your temple through the mind, body, and soul. The way you do that is through health, wellness, and nutrition. That's why I will, that's why something will not let me let this business go. So, anyways. Nah, that's where I've been. For the last two months, trying to get my mind right, trying to hold on, maintain my sanity trying to just keep just keep everything afloat and just keep everything going and moving and i'm just and that's that's where i've been that's my check-in somebody probably like where is where is this where is she been if anybody even worried because i mean i do have 62 subscribers so somebody was waiting for me to post the video <laughs> at least it's not zero I can say that. Cheers to y'all. Baby, it's not zero. It's 62. But it's not zero. And whoever else watches the videos and not subscribe to the channel. Because I have <clears throat> how many views? That's my check. As far as the channel as a whole, not the videos, but all of the videos I've done. It's a. Uh, like how many? I think like 30,000, 30 or 40,000 as far as my channel. Now the views per video, but as far as the views on the channel, including the shorts and the videos, I think altogether is like maybe like 35, I'm going to say 35,000. So can you imagine if 35,000 people have seen you hit just one time? That's a lot of people. So, but you know, YouTube goes off of subscribers. So I still have 62 subscribers. And that's something else that I know um, is like a YouTube channel. I've always wanted a YouTube channel. And it's something, and that's what, that's why I guess I had to take, I had to take a step back to realize what are you going to focus on and what are you going to let go of? What are you going to do in order to focus to get this purpose done? Okay. Because I am literally doing this on a purpose. I'm not doing this just because. I'm doing this on a purpose. So it's like, okay, you're going to have to narrow it down. You have to focus on what platforms is going to help you push your purpose. So it's like, okay, um, as far as social media, I still have the the um Instagram page for Sipping Details. And I also open a TikTok. But the TikTok is just for me. And that's something else. Juggling all these social social media pages, I'm not going to do it. I have to focus on which ones is going to help me push my purpose. If Instagram is not helping me push my purpose, even though it's open, but I probably won't post it that much because we all know how Instagram works. And somebody like me, is, is Instagram is not willing to push me. Okay. Instagram push, you know what Instagram push, but this <laughs> will, we'll, I'll, I'll, mm, okay, 
So it's open, but I don't really, um, and I'm looking at my clock right now and it is literally 3.33. It is 3.33 right now. It is 3.33. I told y'all I'm tapping in. Okay? I'm not tapped out. I'm tapping in. Okay? I'm not even going to hide it anymore. <laughs> I'm not even going to hide it anymore. Um, so, I'm not... Um, it, it's open, but I, I, I don't honestly think that that's the platform for me. In order to push my purpose, I, I, I'm tired of fooling with them. I'm tired of fooling with them. I'm tired of dealing with them. Okay. Um, so that's why I opened a TikTok page. Um, some of the content I've put on TikTok already, and I, I think I have like maybe nine TikToks up. And I have countless views on those nine TikToks. And some of the TikToks that I put up are the same ones that I had pulled from Instagram. I didn't even go and make new content. I just took the content that I pulled from, that I, that's in my phone, that I posted on Instagram. I posted on TikTok just to see how it would perform, and it performed way better. So if that platform is going to help me push my purpose and help me perform better as far as reaching people who need to see this particular type of content, then that's where I'm going to have to go. And that's what we have to do. I'm going to have to go to platforms that help me get the content out there. That's not stuck on things that are fake, phony, um, things that are just not real. Like I can't deal with the, with the fallacy that is social media anymore. But TikTok is more real on TikTok and on YouTube, you know, YouTube, their algorithm, you know, I don't. I love YouTube. I like YouTube. I've always have liked YouTube. Um, but at least with YouTube, they let you know, hey, you know, we can monetize you. We can pay you. But this is what you have to do in order to get paid. Or, you know, they let you know, you know, what well, your videos are doing good. But if you did this, then it would be better. You know, they try to help you out. I don't, like I said, some of these platforms, I think they're kind of set up to get you got. I think they're set up to get you stuck. Okay. They are set up to sink you okay they're not set up to help you they're not set up to get you uh to help you push your purpose out now if you're creating content on any any platform okay and they know that they need that particular type of content in order for their platform to run then why aren't they pushing it no matter what it is doing no harm to people of course and doing no foul type of stuff like that. Okay, so no, that kind of stuff doesn't. But just straight up, clean cut, legit type of content, some content that's helpful to someone, they don't push that kind of stuff because, you know, you're not selling any vulgarity. You're not selling yourself as far as, you're not selling yourself, basically. You're not a sellout. You're not selling yourself. You're literally out here creating content on GP, trying to like help somebody. And they they see where they can't make any money off of that. Or you know what? This doesn't help us. This doesn't sell. They're not going to go and, and take your content and put it in their algorithm and push it around, even though they need any type of content in order to function. Because they don't see where that is. Basically, they don't, they don't see where they can make no money off of that. That doesn't help them. It helps people. It doesn't help them. It's not a piece of content that will garner into garner attention and keep someone on that platform. And they don't care how harmful the effects are to human beings right now. Oh my God, how social media has so many people's brains so undone at this point. And that's also another reason with the two months of me being off, I had to basically detox. I had to do like a like a tech technological detox if it was something from social media that was kind of toxic that i didn't you know i had to take a break from it i had to take a break from it because you when you're trying to grow a brand and business you um you know you get stuck in the social media merry-go-round 
because you're trying to post and create content and get your you know get your content out there get your brand out there get your business out there and you'll get stuck in in the social media playground as well and you're just trying to build a business you're doing this for the sake of your business but you're it's not being pushed it's not being shown to anybody now with instagram they see oh it's a business con a business you know page and they doing this for the sake of business they can tell what type of content you're creating that is for the for business purposes mm. well you can boost this post why don't you boost it pay us to show it to somebody but why should i have to pay you to show it to somebody and this is just content okay this is not an ad this is just content why do i have to pay you to show it to somebody that's your job is to show this to someone actually it should be getting shown to whoever hashtagged it actually but no they want money money that small businesses just don't have you think they care hell no they don't care don't give a damn you can sit up there and, and invest in your content and get all kind of lights and cameras and this that and the third and everything else they still not, they not gonna push it because they know it's for a business account and they figure you if you want somebody to see this pay us and we might show it to somebody i don't have time i don't have time all the while TikTok though oh you have a business account oh come on we have a credit set up for you guys you know oh well, we can go ahead and put your stuff in a TikTok shop and da 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 and all this other kind of stuff and then they want to be and then you sit back and you think okay was well, TikTok doing this this and this and then you have Instagram doing this and this but they're not doing this. I can see why they're so mad at TikTok. I can see why they're so mad at TikTok. But anyway, I think this is going to be the close of this video. I didn't want to make it go too long, but I just wanted to do a check-in as far as where I've been the last two months. Um, this is a content day for me, so I will be having videos going up today. Um, but yeah, catch me on all my social medias. I will add the TikTok into the description box. And I have to just catch you in the next one. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Please bring some other people over here to this channel. But y'all only have 62 subscribers right now, and I need a thousand in order to get monetized. So please help your girl get monetized, okay? Help me, child, because I need some help. Cheers.